my arm was practically dead like numb achy heavy but that was even the least of it the worst part was the headache guys i had like a banging headache i've never had that kind of headache before in my life it was like they were having a festival on my head like they were bum, 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 bum. <laughs> welcome to my channel my name is Laju if you're new here you're highly welcome if you're a returning subscriber thank you and welcome back today I'm standing here because I have company in my little one and I don't want her to interrupt the video she's jumping all over the sofa at the moment so by now you must have seen from the title I'm sharing with you guys my experience with the COVID-19 vaccine I was initially going to share the first one like when I had my first dose because now I've had both doses and that's why I'm so excited to share but when I had the first one, guys, like really, it's only the living that can testify. Like it's only those that are alive that can really come and tell you their story. I couldn't come and tell you my story after my first dose because I wasn't alive. <laughs> okay, I'm exaggerating, but it really knocked me dead. Like it really knocked me down. You know, when you ask people, how was it after your first dose? And some people are like, oh, I was fine. It was okay. And some people tell you, oh, man, I was not right dead. You know, people say things like that. And I'm thinking, mm, really, was it that bad? Because my husband had his and he was just a bit ill for a few hours. And I think by the next day, it was fine. But my experience was different. I really understood what people meant when they said, like, they were knocked dead. Like, they were really knocked down. I was knocked down. Like, I couldn't, I couldn't even hold my phone to record. Record what? Say what? I could not even move. Like, my hands were practically, my arm was practically dead. Like, numb, achy, heavy. But that was even the least of it. The worst part was the headache. Guys, I had like a banging headache. I've never had that kind of headache before in my life. It was like they were having a festival on my head. Like they were bum, 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 bum. It was just going on and on. I had, okay, I had paracetamol once I came home. You know, I took paracetamol after the vaccine. And I felt a bit tired. I went to bed earlier than usual. Normally, I go to bed like... Um, 10, 30, 11. But that day I went to bed as early as 9 because I was just feeling so tired. So my husband was like, oh, just go to bed. So I did. Hmm. At night, I couldn't sleep. I woke up, I was feverish, and then my head was pulsating. Like, my head was banging. I had to stumble, find my way, took some more paracetamol. I was sweating, I was cold. I was just down. By morning, like, around 5, I woke my husband up and I was like, you know what? I can't do this. I'm ill. Like, my daughter had woken up. She was crying for food and all. So I told him, I can't. I can't do it right now. You need to take her. So they just left me in bed till, like, much later in the day. I was just really ill. I took paracetamol again. And I'm just glad that there was no um, news about the blood clots then when I had my first dose. Because I took the um, Oxford AstraZeneca. And um, if there was any news about the blood clots, I would probably have panicked. I would have assumed the worst because... One of the signs that you look out for now, what they are telling people is that if you have a, you know, a continuous headache that doesn't get better, even with analgesics and all, but I don't know if, I think with time, mine got better, but even right after taking the paracetamol, it wasn't better immediately you get. So I don't know, but I'm just, I'm just glad that I survived that phase and I had to go back and take my second one. And the amazing thing about the second job, the second dose guys is that I had nothing like the first one I had on the left arm. This time around, I had it on my right arm. That was yesterday. I've been fine. Like, I just felt tired and sleepy and I slept. But apart from that, like, my arm, my arm doesn't even ache. Like, except you apply pressure. You know, if, if I can feel a little bit of ache there. But apart from that, I'm perfect. I'm in perfect health. I really did pray, though. I really prayed to God. I was like, God, I don't want to feel ill this time around. I don't want to have that scary headache. I think I had slight headache earlier. Um, like that was yesterday after yesterday night that was friday night because i had both vaccines friday but the headache was not even like the first one it was just like mild headache i took paracetamol went to bed and i woke up i'm still great i still feel perfect <laughs> so yeah um I, i've done a few i've done some research on the oxford vaccine i've been reading about it a lot i know with all the news and um, I have to because of the line of my work also. And one thing that I found out is um, currently the UK government is trying to avoid giving the vaccine to people less than 40 years of age. And um, so if you're less than 40, the UK will preferably give you Pfizer or Moderna right now because of the blood clot. Um, it's very rare, very, very rare. But it's been shown to be more common in people less than 40 years of age, less than 30 especially. So if you are less than 30, you probably not get the Oxford from anywhere in the UK. You'll be advised to go for the Pfizer or Moderna um, vaccine. 
and um yeah so there are some things to look out for the clot is preventable it's not a death sentence the truth is you're more likely to get a blood clot from covid19 itself like many people that die from covid die because of blood clots compared to the vaccine so um there are things to look out for if you suspect any of this and you think that oh i think i'm developing a blood clot or something you should call for help immediately they'll give you blood thinners and everything and you'll get better so things to look out for are things like um you know, continuous headache that doesn't get better even with analgesics, like I mentioned. So if you've taken prastamol, um, ibuprofen and the likes, and your head is still on fire, then you are most likely going, probably having a blood clot or something. Call for help anyway. Um, if you have chest pain, so um, you have um, leg pain, you have leg swelling, you know, difficulty breathing, those are signs that you probably having, you're probably having a clot, probably in your head, your lungs, your legs, you know, thrombosis and also call for help immediately. Don't take it for granted. I should probably have called for help because, but it just felt like, oh, it's just one of the side effects of the vaccine. I'm glad it didn't result into a blood clot in my brain. You know, I've never had any of those before, but, you know, I'm just glad <laughs> because now that I'm like, everybody's talking about blood clots. If I knew about it, then I probably wouldn't have taken the Oxford AstraZeneca also, but I took it anyway and I've completed my dose and I'm fine, thank God. So um yeah, that's just it. I just wanted to make you guys aware of it. So if you are going to like many centers probably wouldn't give you the vaccine if you are less than 40 years and it's um Oxford vaccine. So they'll probably send you over to where you can have your Pfizer or your uh, or your Moderna one, whichever one, but not the um, Oxford AstraZeneca. Because I believe most people in the older age groups have already been vaccinated. So yeah. Um yeah, that's it basically. So, so guys, let me know if you've had your vaccine, how was your experience? Do you have any of the um, side effects or did, were you just clean and was it smooth for you? Share with me in the comment section. Kindly share in the comment section. And if you've not had your vaccine yet, why, why the old up? It's not, if it's not your turn yet or are you just reluctant? Let me know in the comment section also. But um, if you haven't had your vaccine and you're waiting for them to call you, don't hold back, guys. Go for it. Get your vaccine. Get protected. We're trying to get things back to normal and, you know, have things you know back like they used to hopefully fingers crossed so yeah that's my experience with my covid19 vaccine Woo! <laughs> thank you guys for watching don't forget to like today's video subscribe to my channel feel free to share till next time bye i like how this wig looks on me i think it makes me look really cheap <laughs>